News begins with breaking news. We have several breaking stories, beginning with the death of a civil rights leader. Helen Chavez, the widow of Cesar Chavez, dying tonight after decades of fighting for workers' rights. 10 News anchor Atika Milana shows us how the woman behind the man passed away, surrounded by her family. Cesar Chavez and his wife Helen led the revolution in the 1960s to change the working conditions for farm workers in California and around the country. For more than three decades, his wife Helen was right there with him. She too was a member of the UFW, United Farm Workers of America. The couple went on to have eight children. Monday, the 88-year-old family matriarch passed away. A UFW press release says she died at a Bakersfield hospital, surrounded by several of her seven surviving children. She also had 31 grandchildren and 16 great-grandchildren. Helen and Cesar moved their large family from their middle-class life in East L.A. to Central California to organize the farm worker movement. With her husband pioneering the effort for farm worker rights, Helen often stayed behind to raise her family. We would take the grandchildren on, on a ride, and that's about all of the recreation and entertainment uh, that we could afford. After her husband's death in 1993, she maintained her privacy, but ultimately spoke about their journey, at times hostile and deadly. I got absolutely sick. I got, I got physically ill when I heard that he was passing. Now with her passing, her children and grandchildren will take the torch and continue their mission for equality and civil rights for all. The Chavez family is said to be making funeral arrangements and hope to have an announcement about the services tomorrow.